Runner Rebels hoping to keep their winning streak alive in the NIT tournament. Next up, a quarterfinal match up at Seton Hall on Wednesday night. Fox News Sports Director Kevin Bollinger is with the team and has the latest from New Jersey. Another NIT game, another unusual venue for UNLV to play in. Last Wednesday, it was the vastness of that huge field house on the campus of Princeton. This week, it's a very small venue on the campus of Seton Hall. Take a look right here as the Run and Rebels practice. This is not where Seton Hall normally plays their games. They normally do that at the Prudential Center in Newark, where the New Jersey Devils play NHL games. But on Wednesday night, they will play right here. It's a facility that only holds 1,400 people and it's going to have everything right on top of the action. The Running Rebels had an intense practice on Tuesday as they put in the game plan for taking on the Seton Hall Pirates. Seton Hall is the number one seed of the NIT bracket. They were the first team out of the field in the NCAA tournament selection process. They felt like they were snubbed and they kept carried a chip on their shoulder throughout the first two games of the NIT. They bring a new set of challenges for the Running Rebels in this game. They usually put out a four guard offense with a big man in the middle. Something a little different that UNLV doesn't see a lot of, but the running Rebels feel that if they can just keep playing their game at a high level, they'll be right there come Wednesday night. UNLV will have that final walkthrough and go through some film on Wednesday, all leading up to that four o'clock Pacific time tip off against Seton Hall and with a win, punching their ticket to the final four, the NIT. With the running Rebels in New Jersey, Kevin Bollinger, Fox 5 News Local, Las Vegas. We are on the road for March Madness. Kevin will follow the team from Jersey for the game. We'll have full coverage of the running Rebels right here on Fox 5 News.